World record in the bag, boys. I changed my pluses to minuses. So I'm on pace for a 108 right now. <laughs> oh my god, that went through my head. Awesome. Amazing. Everyone I know is bugging me about Mario 3, so I thought I'd come back and give it a try for you guys. I have a lot of Mario catching up to do. I also have blisters all over my hands. I kind of came home. I kind of woke up today and was like, I'm going to drum for a while. So I had that to do. So we're going to be doing some Mario 3 100%. Um, we'll, probably, we'll probably still be doing some Mario Maker 2 and stuff. I just don't have my Switch set up because I brought it with me to MMC. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do some Mario 3 today. Some 100%. Kind of get back into it. Hey Mitch and chat, did you know that during SU September, you can get 50% off tier 1 subscription? That's right, 50% off 1 subscription. It's the only time of the year where streamers can like pretty much ask for subs. <laughs> if it wasn't for Twitch, we wouldn't do something like this. Uh, I, I think I'll grind for the 100% record. I think I'll go for it. At this... At this point, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll probably, I'll probably grind for it. Uh... The any percent warpless grind should be coming back soon, and 100% is actually a really, a really good way to get back into the warpless. 100% makes warpless seem really, really short and fast, and when you're consistent with 100%, you're just like, so, I don't know, in the zone. Warpless seems easier. It just seems easier. Oh, dude! Guys, MFP Tunnel. Every every sub in chat, MFP Tunnel. We just nailed it. That's awesome. That's why we have the emote, guys, because it looks so sexy. It's the most sexy trick in Mario 3. Right on. Giant World is best world, yeah. So this run is pretty much practice, which is good. I'm getting some good practice in. Okay, hold on. Let me try this again. The speed... And then it's full big jump, right? Yeah, okay. It's like, it's like I know, but I don't know. It's weird. Dude, Trivium does rock, man. Trivium's dope. All right, we need to get a mushroom and we need to get a fire flower back. So world four is not going to be that good. What was the slurp for? It's pure excitement. Absolute pure excitement. Yo, thanks, Cab. Do you like that little combo I just did there? That was sick. With the duck jump and the the bullet, that was too pog. I've never played the Game Boy remakes of these games. I should because the Just what I needed. apparently that's from Mario 3. That's what he says when he gets power up. So apparently that's pretty cool. MMC was in Vegas and it was actually my first time in Vegas. So obviously I had to go to a casino and luckily I'm not addicted to gambling. Thank God because some poor souls I, I can see some poor souls getting eaten up at Vegas like not having a good time. Like, literally, life-ruining, family-ruining things going on at Vegas. Like, free drinks, hot chicks walking around, like, as the servers. I mean, for me, because I quit smoking, I've been, I haven't had a cigarette in over two years. Casino kind of gave me a little bit of a headache. It, I don't think it was, I didn't enjoy it, the smell, because of all the smoking and shit. I didn't like that. So, it was easy for me to be like, yeah, I kind of want to go, I'm getting a headache, I can't believe this is what I used to smell like all the time, kind of thing. Um, so that's, that's kind of good, it, it pushes me out, but, uh, I was able to bear the smell, I guess, it wasn't too, too bad. It was kind of like a remembrance, but the next day I was like, my chest, like, like, I felt like I shouldn't have been in there because I quit smoking and I, it felt a little bit like I was getting a lot of secondhand smoke. And, like, I, for someone who smoked for 10 years and now that I've quit for two years, I shouldn't have any smoke or nicotine in my body because 
you never know what the shit's gonna trigger anything back which is very very scary but you know it didn't really affect me too much i really didn't care um but yeah man you can play blackjack 15 dollars buy-in free drinks hot chicks everyone's partying have a good time poor souls man some poor souls in vegas can just really get eaten up i don't mind losing like i i constantly remind myself hey you can spend a hundred bucks playing cards and having fun with RNG, which I like playing around with RNG. You get lucky, you get lucky, you don't, you don't. It's pretty much all it is. I like the numbers, I like the cards. That's fun. Um, so I'm like, am I like... Okay. I'll go out somewhere fancy for dinner, really fancy, and spend a hundred bucks on dinner. Or I could just have a burger and fries and go spend a hundred bucks at the casino. So you pick and choose, and one night I was like, I'll do a casino, why not? Except 100 is $20,000, and next thing you know, I'm sleeping um, on the ground. <laughs> I'm no longer engaged, I'm sleeping on the ground, and I'm poor as fuck, and I'm a loser. <laughs> All that for a burger and fries, I guess. I'm kidding, guys, I'm kidding. Next thing you know, I'm selling my teeth and allowing doctors to do tests on me for this small, small price of one more blackjack game. No, it was really fun. It was fun. How much for one tooth? You probably don't make any money off of giving giving away teeth. I don't. Not many people, I think, are buying teeth. I had a very awkward ride ride back to the MMC with the Uber driver. He was talking about Vegas is bad for kidnapping, but he didn't refer to it as kidnapping. He just said napping. And at first we were like, people are napping all over the place. So I guess we were, we were a little ignorant to the fact of the realism of what goes on in Vegas. And he's like, nah, man, kidnapping. I was like, there's a lot of kidnapping in Vegas? And he's like, yeah, like, the kids get, get napped up, and the trafficking, human trafficking in Vegas is is big. And I was like, this car ride, man. Are you a napper? You know, that's what I was there. I was like, is this guy napping? He's just talking about it. Get us to stop looking at our, our map. So I'd like to move right now. Okay, there we go. So in Mario 3, you can't move until the Hammer Brothers are done moving their overworld map. And if if the Hammer Brothers move to the same space, they get stuck on top of each other. And if they do that, you can't you have to wait for them to split up. And the only way they can split up is at a three-way crosswalk. Alright, they can only split up then. Uh, luckily this is the last world with Hammer Brothers, we don't have to worry about it later. There's no Uber in BC? Yes, there is. There's no way that... Are you speaking for the entire province? Because British Columbia is pretty big. There's gotta be Uber, man. There's Uber in almost every province. Newfoundland? I could see there being no Ubers there. Uh, I did not retire from SMB3. I've always said that I will... 100% go for the sub for the sub 50 minute warpless run um, And I'm doing 100% first because 100% gets you back into Mario 3 tip-top shape tip-top performance always 100% is the best category to get into Yeah, 100% will 100% will juice you right up and get you ready I'm doing pretty good so this is why a lot of people dislike the Mario 3 uh, RNG aspect. A lot of people say, I don't want to play Mario 3 because the hands, but it's not the hands you got to worry about in Mario 3. It's actually the Hammer Brothers in every world. After every single level that you play, the Hammer Brothers move. Now, when a Hammer Brother moves from one space to the next, that's 0.5. So if the Hammer Brother's there, you beat a level, and there's only one Hammer Brother, and he moves one space, that's 0.5, okay? If he moves two spaces, that's one second. 
So right there, they did they moved two spaces. So you get to you get to watch them right here. When you watch them, you can understand what I'm saying better. Ooh, that's a single frame. We didn't get it. Too early. Too early. Trying to get peace speed there. So you'll watch the Hammer Brothers here. Every space that they move is 0.5 seconds. Now, the most minimum they can move is one space, so I want them to move one space every time. So let's see what they do. One space, 0.5. That's that's the best outcome. I can't... You can't do any better. You can't do any... Well, you can do worse, but you can't do any better. Well, uh, this is a warm-up run. I haven't, I haven't played this since last December. I mean, I'm in control, but only so much control. Uh, this level's got to pop off for this level. That was dope. That's exactly what you want to do. A very cool tail swipe. Then we do a jump. Don't rub. Alright, this part's pretty stressful. That's cool. Get the tail swipe. Exactly what you want to do. That's really cool. That's really cool being able to pull that off. This is one of the coolest levels. Very nice. 100% you do all the levels, all the worlds, all the Hammer Brothers, all the Piranha Plant levels in world in this world, all the uh, all the hands in World 8, everything. Everything. Uh, you would normally do Mushroom Houses, however, you can't actually get all the Mushroom Houses in one full playthrough. I don't know why they designed it like that. And a lot of people don't actually know that about Mario 3. You cannot successfully get all the Mushroom Houses in one full playthrough. It's impossible. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they would ever do that, but that's, they did. MMC was a lot of fun. MMC was a lot of fun. Oh my god. He almost landed right on top of me. Go away! Go away, bud! Elaborate, please. There is a rock in World 3. As most of you guys know, that you can break and you can use the boat to get over, right? And there's mushroom houses and cards. So, that's one hammer. And then there's a hammer you can use in World 2. Thank you. There is a hammer you can use in World 2 to get the secret hammer, brother. Right? So, you have no hammers left. And in World 4... There is a rock that you have to break with a hammer to get a mushroom house as well. So you cannot get that house. You can't get the house in World 4 because you've already used your two hammers in World 2 and 3. There's a mushroom house behind the rock in World 2 for the secret hammer brother. It gives a frog suit. And then behind the rock in World 3 when you use the boat is spade cards and mushroom houses. You don't have any hammers left when you get to World 4 and you don't get a hammer in World 4. So you can't get that mushroom house. Yo, thank you so much, all of you guys. You know, my I, I am so proud of how much my community uh, donated towards the um, uh, the direct relief. It makes me feel better about what I'm doing, too. Like, I brought, you know, all of everyone brought their own communities to direct relief because we were all there. And I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, for all of you, you know, anytime I was in any comment, I, you know, SDCO, and then we had uh, Neo, and all of all of the other ones there, all of you guys from my community donating, it was it was actually absolutely insane. It makes me it makes me feel better that I was there, and it makes it makes it better that I was able to bring a community that is into that kind of thing. It's perfect. I, I'm not gonna name all of you. I don't I can't remember every single one of you obviously, but I know you guys did Yes, the hisses and honey. Thank you everyone for not getting me to read I do not like reading nor do I like reading publicly So I would I would have been like the only person to be like nah, I'm not reading Yo Welcome back Don't don't let me die, please uh, the rules for SMP 300% is no major glitches, so you can't do spade card because you don't actually complete the level. Uh, you can't do arbitrary code execution because you miss levels, so you can't do the big glitch in World 7 to the end of the game. And essentially all you have to do is beat every single level, all Hammer Brothers. Yeah, that's the first time I've done that. I actually like that better than the Duck Strat, to be honest. Uh, beat all levels, beat all Hammer Brothers, beat all worlds. 
um, beat the piranha plants in World 7, which are kind of like Hammer Brothers, and do the hands in World 8, like I just did. And then that's it. I mean, I have stars, I might as well use them. Area 51. What is it, like two weeks until Area 51 actually takes place? The, the raid that is probably not gonna happen. I also submitted a bunch of shit to GDQ for Mario 3. So you guys should be happy about that. A bunch, a crunch, a bunch of shit. Arbitrary code execution is essentially uh, end credits glitch. ECE. Uh, you glitch the game to beat it in like three minutes. See if I can get it. Oh, so I try and do that clip in the pipe on this ledge right here. You can essentially do it on every corner. I only lost 3.4 seconds on the world right on uh, my PB. That's pretty good. All right, right on. So now, now that we've had a warm-up run. This next run should be a lot better. <laughs> 